All right, now we're going to go over. Previously, I've gone over how to install 7.5.3 and update to 7.5.5. Now I'm going to go over how to install OS 9. A couple things to bear in mind. You will need a copy of Sheep Shaver, which can be acquired from the same location as you got your Basilisk file. Um, I can provide that as well. <clears throat> you will again need to create your shared folder, which I'm going to do as we speak right now. Um, this is not necessary for this one, but it is helpful. Um, you will need your ROM files. In this case, the Quadra ROM will not work. You will need a ROM file um, that does PowerPC. So, uh, again, you'll have to acquire one of those yourself. Um, or, you know, Google would be the optional choice there. You'll need an OS 9.0 disk. Uh, important note, you cannot do 9.1. 9.1 will not work. You have to use 9.0, and it has to be a retail disk. If you want to attempt to use a system restore disk, you can certainly do so if you happen to find an identical ROM file that'll work for that particular system. It's very difficult. You're better off just getting yourself a retail disk. So, uh, in my case, I'm using a OS 9 retail disk by Toast. Uh, you may notice the little lock icon here, and I will get to that shortly. So, the first thing you're gonna do is open up Sheep Shaver. Now, if you have a proper ROM file, you're going to want to name it ROM, just ROM, okay? Sheep Shaver will, by default, look for that file. Should it find one, it'll power on. You get a screen that looks like this. Blinking disk says, oh, no operating system, nothing found, I can't boot, which we expect. Go to Sheep Shaver, go to Preferences. First thing we're going to do is we are going to add a ROM file, or I'm sorry, we're going to add a disk file. Uh, in this case... Wow, this is, again, really atrocious when recording with QuickTime. Um, from my desktop. We're going to take the OS 9 disk. Now, again, the reason the lock icon is there is when I'm attaching it in this manner, without being locked, SheepSaver sees it as a read-write file, and will then pass that information along to the OS, which then does not think that you're dealing with a CD, it thinks that you're dealing with a copied disk and it won't work. In order to get it locked, for those who aren't familiar with it, you can just go to Get Info, and once that shows up, hit the little checkbox that says Locked, close the window, and the locked icon appears. Okay, So we're going to add this image. Next thing I want to do is I want to add a hard drive, so I'm going to create said hard drive. Um, as you already saw in that folder, there was a Mac OS 9, so for the sake of argument, I'm going to call this one Mac OS 9. And again, I prefer to give the drives a gig. You know, anything over 500 is probably acceptable. And I'm going to hit save. This will, once again, create a 1 gig disk, um, which, of course, will take a second or two to do. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing we did before. Users, well, now you have a browse option if you want to use that. I personally don't need to because I know where my files are. But just for ha-has, we'll hit browse. And just make sure it's actually there. Wow, that's really just terrible. The recording is just absolutely destroying the CPU on this thing. I don't know why. And I set my RAM to 256. Hit save. Now you'll note nothing new happens here. We're expecting this. You're going to hit Control Escape. That is going to close the Sheep Shaver file. Then you're going to double click it to reopen it. And this time, you get booted into OS 9. Now, this boot is from the startup CD, the OS 9 retail disk that I have told it to mount. 
as you can see, it detects that there's a hard drive. And in keeping with tradition, I name it Mac OS HD, blah, blah, blah. And hit initialize. I'm going to hit continue. It's going to go through. Oh, look, now we can install. Okay, so we're going to hit install. Now, I'm going to hit all the countries because I'm not in either of those. Hit continue. And under options, it's your choice to do a clean install or not. We are doing a clean install, so it's kind of irrelevant. Hit select. Hit continue. Hit continue. Agree to the license. Now, important note, options. Uncheck Apple hard disk updates. That part will lock the system in most cases. So make sure you uncheck that box. And then hit start. This says it takes about six minutes. Realistically it takes about three. I'm not going to make you guys wait the entire time while it's doing this though. I'm just going to go ahead and pause the recording and when it finishes I'll restart it. Okay, so we're back and the installation is finished. And now we get our quit options. So we're gonna go ahead and say quit. And we're back at our lovely little disk. Now great thing is there is no restart. It's not over here. And if we go over here, look, there's no restart there either. So we're just gonna hit close and we're gonna hit restart. Now go to your preferences, remove that retail image, hit save. Okay, we didn't move it fast enough. Close. Those may not work because we're in boot up, in which case we're just going to hit control escape. We just want to save time here. Big thing was make sure you get rid of that retail image disk. Now this will boot right off the hard drive. Okay, now we have the basics of OS 9 done. So, first thing you'll notice is the setup assistant. We're going to just kind of go through this real quick. I'm in the US. My name is Justin. My organization is irrelevant. Uh, that's all looking fine. Yes, it really is that time of day. I'm going to find New York. Don't care about simple finder. I want to give it something else that's going to make it easy to recognize in case it does show up in my network, which I didn't do last time, but it, long story. All right, this part right here may lock up on you. If you notice that it takes more than a minute or two, um, chances are it's probably failed. And I'm going to guess it failed, so we do a control. Well, I can actually, you know what? Let's try and quit it this way. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, control escape. So we locked up. We expected that was possible. Not a big deal. Reopen Sheep Saver. Now, OS 9 is going to throw a fix. We didn't close out cleanly. It's going to want to check the disk. It's okay. It's automated. Just let it do it. done. And there it is. Now, 
we turn on our sound, make sure that's working. Sound can be a bit questionable with the emulation. Make sure that's set to built-in. All right, sounds are working. Now we want internet access. So browse the internet. Oh no, you're not set up. That's okay, I'll set you up. Uh, yep. And yep. Next. All right, we're on a network, so we're going to hit network. And we'll call it home. And is there an IP address? I'm going to say no. No is the equivalent of DHCP for the IP only. It does not get DNS. But we're going to give it DNS right here. 4.2.2.3 is a public domain DNS server that's available pretty much any provider. And don't want to set up email. Don't want to set up news groups. We are behind a proxy. I'm going to hit go ahead. It's going to go through some basic internet configuration. It may crash on you. Mine didn't? Good. Reopen the internet. Yeah, Internet Explorer 4.5. Check that out. All right. And we're going to stop it. I don't want it to load the default page because the default page does not work very well. I'm going to go to google.com as a demo just to show you that, yes, Internet actually does work. Ta-da! Google.com. Doesn't come up very well, but it works. Um, I have no idea if there's other browsers that are more compatible. Haven't looked. But this is how you can go about getting yourself a copy of OS 9 running. And have fun and good luck.